Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Big day, so excited. I'm going to do another massive experiment comparing pouring mediums um, or flow extensors as some people call them. Um, so I've done a, a big experiment like this before for Dutch pours um, to see which pouring medium uh, produced the most number of cells. What I'm going to do today, not Dutch pours, but I'm going to do some swipes. So I'm going to do five little pieces, five little canvases, identical colours, as identical consistency as possible, identical canvas, identical technique in putting the paint on the canvas and swiping. I'm going to keep everything as similar as possible between the five little canvases and see which produces the best cells without using any silicon. So the difference, as I said, will be the pouring medium or the, the flow extender. So one canvas will be Flood Floatrol, which um, with mixed with the paints, which is from America. One will be the Australian Floatrol. One will be the um, UK Floatrol, which is called Oatrol. One will be a PVA glue and water mixture for a pouring medium. And the fifth one will have nothing extra added other than water so it will just be paint and water so experiment to see what um, mixture gives the best cells the best results for a swipe without adding any silicon so what cells do I get without silicon with those five different mixtures um, so I'm really excited to do this and um, let me show you I've mixed everything up it's taken me ages let me show you what colors um, I'm using so here are my colours. Um, there's no real reason for selecting these colours other than I like them and I think they'll work well together. I wanted a couple of iridescent colours, which I've got here. So I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics Silver and Green Blue. So, so for iridescence, often the iridescent colours produce more cells. So I think it was important to include some of those. I've also got Pebio um, Payne's Grey. Then I've got different brands. Um, Often, I think diff cells are created by mixing different brands of paint together. So I've got Pebio, I've got Royal and Langnickel Cerulean Blue, I've got Amsterdam um, Persian Rose and Montmartre Magenta. So different brands, um, some metallic, some iridescent, some not iridescent. So a good, a good mixture, I think. So the canvases I'm using, they're there. I've got them all ready. They're little 20 by 20 centimetre canvases. They've all got push pins in the back and I've checked that they are all level. The paints, so if I step back, you'll see what my um, art table looks like. Lots of pots of paint. So let me go through them. Um, this one here, this is the um, the Australian Floatrol. Now, this is a different bottle. So um, this um, was given to me by somebody in the UK. Um, and I'll actually, I'll link the um, the website for this company um, where you can get Australian Floatrol in the UK. So it's been decanted into smaller, into different bottles. So it doesn't look like the typical Australian Floatrol bottle. Um, this one here is the UK Floatrol called Oatrol. Then you've got the American Flood Floatrol. Um, I've got here just water mixed with these paints. And then there at the back, this here is my bottle of um, homemade pouring medium, which is two parts PVA glue to one part water. So you can see I've got all six colours mixed in pots or tubs or bottles. Um, with all of these five different pouring mediums. They're all different thicknesses, different consistencies, these pouring mediums. So what I've done, or what I will do, is in the description of this video, I'm going to list all the recipes for the iridescent colours and the non-iridescent colours for all five different mixtures, uh, just to try and make this as straightforward as possible. Um, but I've mixed them roughly to a Dutch pour consistency because I wanted it to be nice and runny because if your paint is too thick you won't get cells popping up if it's if it's a really thick mixture when you swipe that it just won't move you need traditionally you need I think the silicon to make the cells so if I'm not adding any silicon I need these to be quite nice and runny so you can see there just as an example it doesn't really leave a trace it doesn't really leave a mound and they're all about the same. I've spent ages mixing them all about the same. Um, so enough talking, let's get started. So I'm all ready to start now. I've laid out, as you can see, my five canvases. Um, and I've laid out the, the paints for each canvas and then the uh, pouring medium. So I've got the PVA glue and water at the end. 
the Australian Flower Troll, the Flood Flower Troll, the Oa Troll and then the Water. So I'll leave them there so it can be clear at any point which canvas I'm working on, which um, recipe I'm using. What I'm going to swipe with, I think, is the pink. So the, there are a few different ways of uh, putting down the colours for a swipe, but what I'm going to do is if I leave the pink out, I'm just going to, I think, randomly pour some of the colours on, and then I'm going to put a line of pink in the centre, and then swipe the pink. Um, I, I normally like doing diagonal swipes or staggered swipes or something interesting like that, but this is an experiment, so I've got to keep it actually as simple as possible. Um, so for consistency, but I want to keep everything as similar as I can between all five canvases, I'm going to pour these on in the same order. Um, so let's start with some Payne's Grey. So one variation between these is going to be the amount of paint that I put on because that's going to be very very difficult to monitor to measure so what I will do is pour the colours on and then I'm going to tilt them to get the cut to get them um, completely covering the canvas and then obviously I'll be tilting bits off so I'm hoping by doing it like that I will end up with about the same amount of paint on each But at the moment, I'm just pouring on what feels right, right, the right amount, because I'm going to be putting five colours on. Right, so all the colours are down, so except for the, obviously the pale pink. So I'm now just going to spend some time just tilting these canvases around, just so I'm literally just getting them all covered, all the corners covered, and little patches in the middle. And also just to tilt a little bit off as well, because I don't need loads and loads of paint. And then I'm just getting the weight of the paint back to the centre. Right, I'm going to give them all a torch. Right, now some swiping. So I've got my pinks. Now I'm going to add just a splash more water to each of these pinks. So it's a very slightly thinner consistency. So it's not very exact. I'm just adding a splash, which doesn't probably help you very much. But it just uh, you can just see just a, just a little bit more. So that means it's just gonna be slightly runnier. And that means that hopefully some cells will pop up through the pink. So 
So to swipe, I'm just using kitchen roll. So I'm going to put the edge of the piece of kitchen roll down, not the serrated edge, the, the edge that's tears, but the straight edge, just in contact with that pink. And then I'm just very slowly pulling it down. Wow. Well, unexpected results already. So this is just the water and the cells and the effects are incredible. I was impressed with the water last time I did a video in comparison. So same again. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Right, so next, moving on to the Oa Troll. Now, one downside of thinning down that pink is that it's sunk. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. Maybe what I should have done is poured it on and then swiped straight away. That might have been better than pouring it on all three, all five, and then Coming back to the beginning. So we get in contact with the pale pink and pulling it through. This is a really good size piece of kitchen roll for this size canvas. So this, so this one, so far, you can see lots of little shimmery, wiggly lines. This one, the Oatrol, has got actual cells. I am amazed. I'm not sure I've, I normally, I normally use silicon to get cells, but then they're much rounder, more sort of artificial looking cells, whereas this is looking really natural. So same again, I'm just going to add a bit more of the pink. I should have, I think, put the pink on and then swipe straight away. But there you go, that's a lesson learned. <laughs> that's what this is about. Your swiping tool, what you actually swipe with. Oh, oh I didn't mean to do that will always make a difference. Um, so I often use plastic to swipe with. But just recently I've gone back to kitchen roll, not sure why. And sometimes I wet the kitchen roll. If it's thicker paint, I'll wet the kitchen roll. But actually because these paints are quite nice and runny, I decided not to wet the kitchen roll first. Right, I'm just going to re-swipe. I know it's an experiment, but I've just wrecked the edge here. I think I'm going to go again, just this half. So I'm just going to add a little bit more again. Also, I think what's nice about kitchen roll is because it's got these little perforations in, it's creating these amazing lines. Whereas if it's a piece of plastic, it's just, it's totally straight, totally flat. 
Right, so that's the flood flow troll. So this half is behind this half. The cells are beautiful. They're a bit smaller than the O troll, which is interesting, but maybe it's just because not enough time has passed yet. Right, so now we're on to the Australian flow troll. I'm going to add a little bit more pink again. Wow, oh my goodness, this one's amazing. As I kind of expected, the cells are instant. Small, but they will probably grow, but they are instant. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. To be fair, I actually like them all. Right, last but not least, my PVA glue. And where's my pink line? It's totally, totally vanished. It's completely sunk. So I'll try it again. If it sinks again too quickly, I will thicken up the paint slightly. Let's go, let's go, let's do it quickly. Oh, wow. I'm amazed. Wow, I can't wait to show you. These results are incredible. And they're not what I was expecting. I have to say, I think I was expecting just the odd cells on all of these. Maybe more on the Australian flower troll. But actually, they're all really, really beautiful pieces. Wow, oh my goodness, PVA glue and water. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Right, let me get you in for a close up. I cannot wait to show you, this is so exciting. So the first one, the one with the water in the mixture. It's amazing. I'm absolutely, I, I, I cannot believe this, what's happened. Look at this, these effects, this, I, I don't know if you call this lacing or, I don't know, what do you call this? It's so, so pretty. I mean, look, how on earth has this happened? Just with water. So not really cells, but a very, very cool effect. Really, really pretty. Um, really unusual. Um, and the only one like it. So all the others look different from this. So this is really, really amazing. Really cool. Right, so number two, we've got the UK Flower Troll, the Oa Troll. And look at this. They're like massive boulders and pebbles and really really pretty and um, what i love is these stripy lines with the cells in them and the lacing look at these multicolored cells really yeah quite large cells incredible lacing there and stripies really really pretty okay so number three the american flood flow troll now look at this. Only thing I regret with this is I had to re-swipe 
um, and that's why you've got this little splodge here. So ignore that little splodge because that wouldn't have been there if I hadn't have messed it up the first time. If you look at the colours, can you see how shiny they are along the edge there and how pretty they are, how they've mixed? Ah, just beautiful. Look at that multicoloured cell. Oh, it's not wanting to focus, sorry. There we go. All the silver there. Payne's grey. This is beautiful. And one other thing I should mention is I haven't actually torched any of these. So I wonder what would happen if I did torch. I don't think I'm going to because I, I like the effects as they are. Um, so the next one, we've got the Australian flower troll. Now this one is actually incredible. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to hide it in my voice. This, as I'm just going to say, this one is my favourite um, because of the detail. So these cells are much, much smaller than with the other hit pieces, but they are incredible. I just am blown away. And the big difference here is that with the um, Amer sorry, the Australian flower troll is the cells are instant. They pop up instantly, whereas with the other ones, they te seem to take some time to form. Absolutely thousands of them. See, this one is a lot busier, but the detail is incredible. And then last but not least, I am pretty impressed with this. Actually, it's changed. Yeah, it's changed even since I, I started filming. Because this is runnier, I think it looks a bit swimmy in the middle. I think probably I've added a bit too much. But look, look at these effects. This is just PVA glue and water. I had no idea that this pouring medium that I use a lot could do this without anything added. So uh, if I do a swipe, I would normally make a much thicker mixture, but with, with this, with the PVA glue and water, um, and then I'd add silicon. So I, I really honestly had no idea that you could create such interesting effects without the silicon and with a slightly runnier consistency. I think this is too runny because look, it's all, it's getting a bit too swimmy. So I think for this medium, I think slightly thicker would actually be better. But actually design wise, it's pretty cool having that Payne's grey and silver band through the middle. Um, so there they all are. So interesting. Um, so for busyness and for number of cells, I think the Australian flower troll wins. Um, I can't really choose next. I actually do really like this one. Um, I just like the really big circles in the band in the centre, the Oa troll. The water one has blown me away because it's 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 in its own category. This is it's in its own. You can't really compare it because there aren't cells as such. There was just these amazing. I don't know what to call them. Patterns and details. Um, this one, I think this one, the the flood flower troll could do with some um, some torching because I think if I torched, I'd get a lot coming up through there. Um, and then actually composition wise and sort of elegance wise, this one, I think the PVA glue works really well. Um, wow, I cannot wait for these to dry and see what they look like dry. I wonder if they'll change. Right, I'll be back when they're dry. Right, so they're all dry, the results are in. So interesting, this has been such an interesting experiment. Um, so let me go through one by one. So I've kept them in the same order as I poured them in. So the first one is the water. Um, I really, really like this. It's. I think if I was doing this for a real painting that I wanted um, to put on a wall, I probably would have swiped again because for me there's a bit too much pink in the center. I probably would have swiped again, but just look at the effects. Um, just let me just focus. Um, they are so, so pretty. I'm really impressed with just water. And it's the only one of these five paintings that looks like this with these, I don't, these, these designs. Someone tell me, what do I call these? these bits because I, I just don't know how to describe this um, but yeah as I said I'm really happy but I would have swiped it again I think to remove some of that pink maybe I just put too much pink on so the second one the Oa Troll just look it's so pretty now what I like about this one is you've got the smaller cells and lacing at the edges 
but I love this effect in the centre. So I think there's just about the right amount of pink in the centre for the swipe. Um, if I just tilt it again, you'll get an idea of the of the iridescence. It's really, really pretty. And I, I just really like the lines, the stripes. So really happy with that one. Um, then the Flood Flower Troll. So this time the cells are getting smaller. Um, you've got smaller lacing, smaller details this time. Um, the stripes there are just beautiful. And up here, and you've got a few of the larger cells right in the centre. And then it, they all seem to just get smaller and smaller towards the edge. Really, really pretty. Um, the downside of this one is where I had to double swipe um, and I've left this mark here. So uh, in some ways I regret doing that. Um, but yeah, what lovely, gorgeous, gorgeous results. And again, you've got the iridescence there. You can see it shining. And then number four is the Australian Flower Troll. Um, so just look at this. So cell wise, this is phenomenal. I think this this port this um, flow extender is absolutely incredible. So the cells popped up instantly, and just look how they're just perfect looking. They're just just so uniform um, and everywhere. So they obviously start at the centre, go out to the edges. Really, really uniform. Really, really pretty. Um, so for volume and quality of the cells, I would say this one is a clear winner. The Australian Flood Flower Troll is a clear winner. And then last but not least, the PVA import, uh, PVA glue and water, bit of a mess. So this is this is what happened with my last experiment, actually. The PVA glue one didn't particularly work. So I think for PVA glue, it needs to be thicker. So this is very, very thin. It had cells initially, but you can see it's all got, it's just all gone quite swampy. I added so much extra pink in the center because it's sunk. You can see quite clearly where it's obviously just, just all drifted towards the edges and it's all just dripped off the sides. And I kept on wiping underneath with a stick to get rid of this, uh, the um, the drips. So it's actually very pretty and very effective, but it's a mess. <laughs> it's not. It hasn't got the cells. It's got some lacing, but yeah, not not particularly keen. So to summarise, so in terms of cells, um, in terms of the quality and the quantity of cells. This one wins for me, the flood, sorry, the Australian flower troll. But actually, if I look over all five of them, my favourite actually is this one, which is the Oa troll. And I think I like this one because it's just a bit more interesting because you've got just more variation. You've got the massive cells in the middle, the lacing. It's just very different. I have to say, I do quite like them all. Um, but I think the Oa troll one is my favourite. Um, probably followed by the Australian, and then probably followed by the American Flower Troll, and then the Water, and then last but not least, the um, PVA Glue. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What do you think? Um, which pouring medium do you think works best? Um, so if you're if you're from the UK and you're struggling to find um, some Australian flower troll, I'm going to put the link in the description of this video of where this came from. So it's um, a UK site. So I'll put the link in the website for you if you want to buy some. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been such an interesting video. I've really enjoyed, really enjoyed doing this. Let me know what you think. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.